Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 11. And in this tutorial, I wanna to talk to you guys about how to update stuff in SQL. So uh, this is going to be very similar to the insert tutorial, except, okay, there are quite a few uh, syntax differences, but the concept is pretty much the same. You're going to need to look over your database and uh, make sure that you know exactly what fields are in your database and what you want to update before you go ahead and start running queries. Uh, so yeah, just make sure that you run it, run over your database and make sure that you are familiar with it. Now let's take a look at how to update stuff using MySQL. So uh, yeah, in this tutorial, like I said, you're kind of gonna want to make sure that you know what your database looks like. So let's go over to my users database here and uh, I'm just gonna look over the database structure real quick. So again, we have uh, six columns, ID, username, password, user email, first name and last name. ID has been set to auto increment, so we're not probably not gonna wanna fiddle around with that too much. We might wanna change usernames or passwords or emails and first names, so those are things that typically might get changed on a website. Uh, I just want you guys to also notice that um, some of these values are set to not null, which means that you can't set them equal to nothing. I don't think I mentioned that in the previous tutorial, but yeah, if something's set to not null, you cannot set it equal to no value. It has to have a value, right? Uh, so now that you guys know about that, <laughs> let's uh, um, actually look at writing some SQL code. So. Um, actually, let's browse the table real quick. And uh, let's say I have uh, this user, Quinton, and I wanna change his username to uh, Quinton instead of Quinton92. Well, uh, in order to do that, I just need to run a little update query. So let's clear this and type in my update query. So the update query goes like this. It goes update um, and then uh, users, so update, and then whatever table you're looking to update. So in this case, I wanna update the users table. And then you add in another keyword, which is a SQL keyword or an SQL keyword uh, set. So set obviously tells us what value to set where. And then you can put in the column that you want to uh, set or change and then set that value equal to whatever it is that you want to set that value equal to. So in this case, um, let's change Quinton's username from Quinton92 to Quinton. Um, now, if I run the query just like this, it's gonna run through the entire table and change everybody's username to Quinton. Obviously, that's not cool. I don't want to do that. Um, but what I do wanna do is add in a little where clause to make sure that I only update this where um, it, the ID is equal to Quinton's ID, which happens to be one. So let's add in a where clause here and set the ID equal to one. Um, now make sure you run it with the where clause because if you run it without the where clause, you might get into a little bit of trouble where you update in the wrong place, right? Uh, and make sure that you have the ID of the person correct as well. I happen to know that the ID of the person I wanna change here is one. So let's hit go and there we go. My query has been um, successfully run. So if I go back to the browse tab over here, I can see that I have now successfully changed Quinton's username from Quinton92 to Quinton. Uh, and let's see if I can change my email address and my username and my first name all at the same time. So let's come back here, place that query in here. And updating multiple values is as simple as just adding an extra value in here with a comma. I think a comma is the right one, but let's just see. I'll, I'll add a value here and then if, if there's a mistake, uh, we'll see it. All right, so let's change my username from Quinton back to Quinton92, and then let's also change my uh, user email, user email to something else. So I think right now it's set to like business at Quinton what at Quinton Quinton at business business at Quinton what something like that. Uh, but let's just change that to Quinton at mm, not 
exist.com. Um, so that'll be a different email address. And then uh, let's also change my first name, first underscore name from Quinton to uh, Q dog. Something like that, right? So let's copy this and hopefully this is going to work. Let's hit go and query successful, right? So uh, yeah, I can go back to the browse tab over here and take a look if my changes have taken place. And you can see that my username has now changed uh, and we've got, we've changed it from Quinton back to Quinton 92. We also changed my user email from business at Quinton Watt to Quinton at notexist.com. And I've also managed to change my first name from Quinton to QDog. And all of that was as simple as just adding in a comma and then adding the next value that I want to change and setting a value for that. Um, so yeah, it is uh, fairly straightforward. And I think what I want to do is maybe just change my name back to Quinton and my email address can change back to business at quintonwatt.com. Uh, yeah, so you guys can go ahead and play with the update queries and see if you can get this right. Make sure that you're always using a where clause because if you play around with this without using a where clause, um, and if your where clause has a bad value or a wrong value set to this, then you might actually update stuff that you don't want to update. So yeah, uh, just be careful with that. And uh, now that I have warned you, let's hit go and see what happened, right? Uh, all of this is back to how it used to be. Right, so before I end off this tutorial, I just wanna send a huge shout out to these guys. These guys are my patrons who contribute $5 or more every single month, and I really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to help me make more videos more often, then you can go ahead and check out my Patreon page and uh, make a contribution as well. And if you wanna try and help out, then a great way to help out for free is to subscribe, leave a comment, like, and share this video, because that's also gonna help my channel grow. And I'll see you guys next time.